ERC started the Forest Roundtable about six years ago. We brought together about 30 people. They were invited at the time to discuss what was happening in Vermont's forest. And in particular, we got together to talk about how to address the increasing parcelization or fragmentation of Vermont's forests. And we realized that this was an issue that um, unified a lot of different stakeholders, whether people from the forest products industry, um, professional planners, conservation organizations, folks at the Agency of Natural Resources, Council on Rural Development, the list went on and on, and we all really recognized that the future of our forests was an important topic to discuss. We were able to find common ground in discussing issues around how to keep our forest lands intact, whether that meant for um, for ecological services, for forest products, for places to recreate, to protect our watershed, for wildlife habitat. It didn't matter kind of what angle you were coming at, we all agreed that keeping our forests intact in Vermont was an important mission for us to work on. It's a very collegial group, and so there's differences of opinion, but it's um, it's all handled uh, handled really really well. It's a place for people to come together and talk about about important forestry stuff. I'm Putt Blodgett. I'm a tree farmer and landowner in Bradford, and I am also serving as president of the Vermont Woodlands Association, uh, made up of landowners, forest landowners in the state. Well, Vermont is 75 percent forested and it's too often taken for granted. People don't realize the importance economically of, the, of all the landowners, truckers, loggers, foresters, and wood processing uh, manufacturers. And it's a big boost to the state's economy, about over one billion dollars a year. And uh, the more we can bring the groups together that are involved with forestry, understanding each aspect of it, uh, the stronger we'll be and the better voice we'll have. I come to this meeting, the Forest Roundtable, because I feel like it's the cutting edge of what's happening in our, my field. And uh, I feel like because all these different voices are coming together, we get the best of to go forward with this different points of view. And so I learn a lot and I'm able to contribute. It's now a place where a lot of different viewpoints can come together and have candid conversations about where we agree, maybe where, sometimes where we disagree on policy, but it's always really productive conversation and I think it's one of the leading venues in Vermont where we can come together and, and share perspectives on how to, how to keep our forests intact. Hi, my name is Tom Barry, and I uh, cover natural resource issues, agriculture, and environmental issues for U.S. Senator Patrick Leahy in Vermont. Uh, a lot of those issues do involve forest lands, and I find the forest roundtable discussions, I attend just about all of them. Uh, it's, a, it's a great shortcut for me to interact with um, people on all sides of issues involving forest lands in Vermont, so I can, I can get months worth of um, outreach work on behalf of the Senator done very quickly at one of these meetings. Uh, it gives me the opportunity to update a broad constituency on what's going on at the federal level. For instance, the Farm Bill. The Senator's the most senior member of the Agriculture Committee. We're working on a Farm Bill which includes U.S. Forest Service programs as well as a number of other land conservation, land uh, tenure programs, uh, forest support programs. I think the Forest Roundtable has provided an opportunity for people with interests in Vermont's forests uh, to come together and kick around issues of concern and that's been wildly valuable. I think that it's what it's been, just what it's grown into is I guess what I'm proud about and the fact that uh, in the end uh, regardless of what we discuss what I hear from everybody is they value the forum that the NRC is providing.